You know nothing about or else you become the loose. Attention, please. <laughs> Soko Wado, <laughs> how are you doing? Good evening. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. In case you're just joining, please help share the video with your friends. Share to those Facebook groups you belong to. 
Share to every WhatsApp group you belong to, every Facebook group you belong to, and share this video with them. We are going to be telling you tonight, we are going to be discussing two things. We'll be telling you more about the abscond removal, abscond amnesty that we woke up to this morning. We'll be talking about that. And also we'll be telling, talking about the news that is everywhere now about visa lifted and all so in case you're watching let's share the video with your friend yalla let's share no one is sharing let's share let's share let us take a time out to share the video with our friends let us take some time out to share the video let us share the video with our friends yalla let's share it mm, that's cool let's share it let's share the video please i'm doing the same thing here let's share the video with our friends help share the video please we'll be telling we'll be discussing all you need to know about the uae abscon amnesty is it for everybody by the way it is not for everybody the abscon that is announced and some people have gotten it already it is not for everybody that's why you need to share this video. So on tonight's show, we're telling you those that can get it and those that cannot get it. The internet is very poor on, on TikTok. It is. The internet is very poor on TikTok. If you're watching on TikTok, just join on Facebook and join on Facebook, let's say. Join on Facebook or on Instagram. The network is very, very poor on, 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 on TikTok. It's been the same thing for... a number of days now. A lot of you have shared with me the updates that is flying everywhere the updates that is flying everywhere about dubai visa lifted for everyone is that update true we'll be discussing that on the show today before i start the show somebody will share with me that same update and it is coming from one of Nigerian government officials, Bayo or Nonuga. I saw an update today on Nigerian news channel about lifting visa ban on Nigeria. Yeah, many people have seen many things today. Today has been a very busy day. Today has been a very, very busy day. Many people have seen many things. And I, I checked within 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. The number of calls that I pick and the number of calls that, I pick that comes in for me, both pick and miss, it is more than 20 between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. and that's the only hour that i check since morning our line have been bubbling with calls whatsapp been bubbling with messages and everybody want to know if the news they have gotten if it is real or no one thing we should assure you first is that abscond has been removed for most people that ask dubai that ask uae visa and they are on abscond if you are on abscond please check your visa abscond has been removed for a lot of people and that is why we say check a lot of you start calling me i made a post about it i make video about it you don't need to call me again don't let us abuse opportunity. You just keep the line busy for nothing. Well, well, hello, citizen. How are you? Is that, is that citizen? How are you? Uh, I saw a video you make. 
I saw a video you make about uh, amnesty, about um, abscon remover. Is it true? You need to call me to check if the video I make is true. Come on, you don't need that. Most people have gotten their abscon removed already. If you want to check, in case you are watching on YouTube, or you are watching on TikTok, you want to check, go to our Facebook group, our Facebook page. I posted the link to check on Facebook because only Facebook allow you to share links. So we have shared the links to our WhatsApp group also. If you have my number and I save your number, I have as well posted the link on my WhatsApp. So the link is on my WhatsApp. It's on our Facebook pages. It's on our WhatsApp group also for you to check. Before now, if you have absconded, if you go through that link to check, if you go through that link and you put in your details, it will not show what it will show is that this person cannot pay for fine but if you go through the link that is shared today and you are able to see your fine that means your abscond has been removed everyone asking if dubai visa is now going it is not going yet that update you see flying everywhere it is not confirmed yet one thing you must understand the last phase before you understand let us talk about this amnesty for abscond Everyone that have abscond, it has been removed. But we are getting another update as at this evening. The update we are getting as at of this evening is that if it is the company, if it is a private company that puts you on abscond, the abscond will still be there. But if it is a government company, that puts you on abscond. The abscond is already removed. Now let us explain this so that everyone will understand. Let us explain this in details so that everyone will understand. Let me type in the comment section, understand. Understand. If you are still watching, if you're watching and uh, let's make it interactive so that I will not be the only one here talking. Type in the comment section, understand. Let's go. I'm typing my own also. Understand. Understand, no half. <laughs> my friend, understand, no half. Understand. Type it in the comment section. Yeah, mayor of Dubai. Chairman, I see you. Chairman, clear your schedule for Thursday. Let us go to the stadium. Let us go to the stadium on Thursday to watch live football. <laughs> yes, by this time yesterday, we are watching Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7 was in UAE yesterday. And yesterday, we are in the stadium to watch him play live. And... As always, it was a great player to watch uh, Ronaldo play. The first time we watched him play was 20, 2017 in Abu Dhabi. So understand. Thank you for everyone that is typing understand. God bless you. As you are typing up, share also. Share to every Facebook group you belong to. Share to every uh, WhatsApp group you belong to. Share to those your friends that are not online. Because this abscond remover, we are getting another update that it is not removed for everybody. 
we are getting an update that is not removed for everybody. What the update we got tonight is that those that are on government sponsored, the abscon has been removed. And those that are on private company sponsored, the abscon has not been removed. We cannot confirm this but we will explain to you which one is government sponsored which one is which one is government sponsored check on whatsapp check on whatsapp that person i just called now made it block the person everyone that is making calls on whatsapp while we are live block that person You already know the person is calling again. Block the person. Mary is showing Mary. Block the person. You already know we cannot pick WhatsApp call. But when you drop message on WhatsApp, instead of you to wait until they reply your message, you will be calling on WhatsApp. Block that person. Everyone I've called during this hour, just block the person. You already know that WhatsApp call is not what is possible in UAE. But when you drop your message on WhatsApp, you'll be putting call through. For what? To distract our attention. You are getting free consultation. So be show some, some respect. Now let us go uh, with what we are saying before then. Now, which one is called government company sponsor? Which one is private company sponsored? Why should my abscond be removed and my friend abscond is not removed why like this my friend you coming you're not coming security saying quarantine quarantine <laughs> okay now let's go for everyone that is on visit visa if you carry if you carry that your visit visa like this you check down on that your visit visa. You will see sponsored. The company that sponsored your visit visa, you will see it there. Now, this company, everyone that has visa in UAE has been sponsored by a company, whether a private company or a government company. But mostly government company that sponsored visit visa because most of you that have abscond you are on visit visa so government company that sponsored visit visa they are like um here yeah, arabian um etihad which one again Help share the video, please. Share, 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 share the video, please. Help share the video. So there are many government companies that usually sponsored visit visa. Here, Arabian, Etihad, uh, there's this uh in Dubai also, what is the name? Um on our way they watch more than I mean the type um Daya Danata. Danata World traveled. Danata World Traveled, here Arabian, Etihad, all these are government company. So the update we're getting are, is that those that are government company, those are the only one that have been removed and those on private company are not being removed. Later tonight, if we still have time or tomorrow, we will check if this is true or no. But for everyone that has visit visa, just check down your visit visa. You will see the company that sponsored your visa there. Everyone is being sponsored in UAE. I had the ban has been lifted. Drop a comment in the comment section. Help share the video. Like the show. Like the broadcast. Make sure you are doing something to help this guy and the Nigerian community in UAE. So abscond has been removed for almost everybody. Myself, we have checked from our hand here, we have checked 
about 10 applications today from different Emirates. And for all of them, their AppsCon has been removed. So if you are in UAE, you have visa, and you are on overstay, go and check now. The link is on our Facebook group. It is only Facebook that allow us to post the link. The link is on our Facebook group. The link also is on our WhatsApp group, on our Facebook pages at This Is My Cup of Tea, on our Facebook group at Citizen Oluwatosin. The link is being posted there under the video that we share today. If you click on the link, use the uh, passport details. Click on the option that shows passport. Now your passport details, now you go use. Use your passport details to check. If you use your passport details to check and they show you your fine, that means you don't have absconded. But if it is showing that this person cannot pay fine, that means abscon is still there. We are sharing only two shares. I think my network is very good now on TikTok. We have more than 100 people watching on TikTok. Block that person that is just calling now. Erundukbe, Eruna, Nini. Eva, Dukbe, Eva, Dukbe, Ulokawa. Erundukbe, Ko. Erundukbe, Ni. Block that person that is uh, Erundukbe. We have more than 100 people watching on TikTok. That's a good sign that our network is good on TikTok. Very good, Alhamdulillah. It's been a while. The TikTok community has been suffering bad network. And you remember, I promised that uh, by weekend, we'll fix the network. God so good, we have been able to fix the network. Good evening, sir. I saw news on Twitter about the lifting of the band. Please, we would like to, I uh, would like you to speak about it. Yeah, we are going to speak about it. Uh, we are sure going to speak about it we, tonight on the show. We are speaking on two things speaking on the abscond that has been removed for everyone on overstay, and also on the news that is, is in circulation that uh Dubai visa is going. Someone say, What is the name of the Facebook at Citizen Oluwato Singh? That is the name. At citizen Oluwatosi. Let me type in the comment section. Do we have the Facebook admin still there? If you are still there, please type it in the comment section at citizen Oluwatosi. Let me help myself. Uh, citizen Oluwatosi. That is the name on Facebook. From time ago, somebody says citizen, you know how to type fast. You should go for Chinese job. I say to Fiakwa. <laughs> okay. This 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 is a very good question. If we make visa change on tourist visa, will the sponsor change? Of course, it will change to the new sponsor. It will change to the new sponsor. The sponsor will change. You just have to get a new visa. The sponsor will change. I believe this person is not a Nigerian because Nigerians cannot get visa change for now. So don't go and say it is in Tosi. Say, I beg. So, the link is on our WhatsApp group. The link is on our Facebook pages at Citizen Uluwatosi or at This Is My Cup of Tea. 
the link is there for you to check if your abscond has been removed or no, but for most people, the abscond has been removed. For most people, the abscond has been removed. Now, let us tell you, now that your abscond has been removed, what should you do? Now that your abscond has been removed, what should you do? Let everybody bear it in mind that when abscond is removed, it is not a forever things. If you are understanding me, say forever things. Abscond remover is not a forever things. Forever things. Who is typing in the comment section? Forever things. Forever things. It's not a forever things. Abscond remover is not a forever things. Now that your abscond is removed, try to make sure to change your visa status. Facebook people are very active tonight. Facebook people are very active tonight. Oh yeah, they on ahead. Arau is somewhere on YouTube. Oh yeah, they your head. So it's not a forever things. Now that abscond has been removed, and let us also say it here again so that it will be on record. Uh, some minute ago. I was having an interview with um, a Nigerian news outlet and they, were, they asked me in that interview saying, this abscond that is removed, is it for only Nigerians or for everybody? I think you, you should know that the abscond is not removed for only Nigerians. So I don't know if that information is going to help you but it's better you know that the abscond that is removed is not for only Nigerians. That is why this video, you need to share it with your friends from other nationality. Because the information that we'll be sharing forward on this show will be helpful to all nationality, not only to Nigerians. The link is not working. <laughs> Everyone that is going to try the link, you have to be patient. Hey, Thompson. <laughs> Thompson, all right, Mr. Dendy. <laughs> you hear me, my lover? It is not that the link is not working. You see, people are prone to, they are often eager to complain than to appreciate. It is not that the link is not working, but then, a lot of people have overstayed and abscond. And the more the news is getting into the hair of many people, the more busy that website is. Try the website if it's still working, please. Try the website of uh, that abscond checking if it's still working. Try with one of the passports there. Try with one of the passport there. So it is not that the link is not working. The thing is, the website is getting busy and busy by the hour because more and more people are getting to know that their abscon has been removed. And the more people get to know that the abscon has been removed, the more traffic will come to that website. So, relax. Relax. Somebody tell Mr. Thompson to relax. Relax. Okay, so the abscond has been removed for all nationality, not for a particular nationality alone. For everyone that has absconded, most of you, you don't even know that you have absconded. 
But let me tell you, they have abscond already. So far, you're on especially visit visa. Some of you will even fight it and say, citizen Tosi, I just discovered that the, my, the, I, have, I have abscond on my visit visa. But citizen Tosi, abscond should be on employment visa now, not on visit visa. Now lie, oh. Now what? Now lie. First of all, we must understand what is abscond. According to English, and according to dictionary, make I pretend like somebody that knows English very well. <laughs> according to English people, abscond is when you run away, you abscond, you jack up. <laughs> you escape. <laughs> you are not available when your sponsor need you. That is what is meant by abscond. So if your visa over, if you, if your visa finish, some of you when your employment visa finish, then give you cancellation, cancellation paper. If you hold that cancellation paper like this, you will see it down somewhere here in the cancellation paper. It is usually in red color because they want your attention. They want it to catch your attention. It is usually in red color. But the problem, most people don't read. And this is very bad if you don't read. You know why it is very bad? Because as an individual that have traveled out of your own country, you are now being called expatriates. Forget about your educational qualification. It doesn't matter. Forget about your educational qualification. It doesn't matter. Now you are an expatriate. So as an expatriate, you should be able to display a kind of sense to match the name expatriate that you are being called. And one of the ways you, dis you, 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 you display this sense is by going through documents very carefully especially before you sign them is by going through every document that is given to you very carefully that's what makes you that's what makes you look like you are serious with life so if you have cancellation paper check on that cancellation paper you see something written in red color around this place they will make sure it's there that you must change visa status before or on so 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 date or leave the country so when your visa finish your sponsor expect that you change your visa status from their visa to another visa whether you go for visa change or another company employ you you must change your status from their visa to another visa so if you don't change your visa status from their visa to another visa, then they are at liberty to put you on abscond. They are at liberty to put you on abscond. It is exciting to see many people, more, we have more than 40 people watching on Facebook. It is exciting because some minutes before this show, Facebook was having a lot of problem. I thought my Facebook had been hijacked. <laughs> I thought my Facebook had been hiked, but uh, it's good to see many people watching on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, God bless. Everyone that is watching on Facebook, please help share this video to every Facebook group you belong to. Everyone watching on Facebook, help share it to Facebook groups you belong to. Don't worry, we are still going to take questions on this show. 
Uh, most probably, if you're watching on TikTok, we will let you join the show so that you can talk and ask your question where. But there's no, there will be no time to, to, to talk too much. Most people, when they want to send voice notes or sitting in Tosi, or when they call, they, they talk is too much. Just go straight to the point. It is called kiss. Not that kiss where your mind they tell you, oh, my come Not that one. Not this man. No. Kiss is keep it short and simple. Keep it short and simple. Let me tell you, see comment section. Kiss. Keep it short and simple. So, uh, we'll probably open the, uh, the comment section to allow people to join. So, now let us talk about that visa that um, this, uh, someone talked about it. Let us talk about this. Good evening. I saw news on Twitter about lifting of the ban. Please, we would like you to talk about it. That news is of fake news. Help me tap on the comment section. Say fake news. Timmy Tokpe Emmanuel. How do I get the link, sir? The link is on my Facebook uh, page. Just check. Monsurat. Oh yeah, do your head. Ajia Rukayat. Salam alaikum. Mofe. Mofe, how you do? Hope you're fine. Say fake news. Now, the reason I say it's fake news, I'm going to tell you so that um somebody will not say this guy. Who is this guy? Citizen Tosin, who is this guy? Last week, one of your visa agents in Dubai, you say, you will say it's fake news. Any news that is not coming from you is fake news. No, it is not like that. Any news that is coming, we have to filter. We have to shiver the news very well. We have to check in letters and be sure that the news is authentic, authentic. That news that is circulating, the news is fake. I can tell you confidently, citizen, I've checked mine through the app, through the link, but the fine is not showing, only showing my PP details, only PP details, your personal details. Okay, if you're, okay, easy, easy motion, ah, easy motion, there is Abba Suzy, Kelele. easy motion, you said you have checked through the link, it is only showing your personal details, just click next, Shebon show next, click next, if you click next, it will show you your, your details. As a Nigerian, can I apply resident visa? Relax. You can only apply as a lady because I see lady picture there. You can only apply as a lady if you have, if your last visa is resident visa. I have checked your videos. Can't see the link. You need this kind of glass I'm wearing. If you check my video and you can't see the link, you need this type of glasses. Mm. Check Citizen Oluatosi on Facebook. Or you check uh, Jayola. Oh, yeah, do your head. If I'm outside Nigeria, can I apply for visa now? No, you cannot apply for visa now. That is what we are saying. Visa is not going yet. For everyone that have seen that update, that visa, Dubai visa is not going for Nigerians, it is a lie. And every news outlet that is posting that should be careful. 
it is sad that even newspaper outlets are starting to behave like uh, common blogs like all these bloggers that are looking for attention check that news the updates that was screenshot and is in circulation who we'll sign them everyone that is sending link request to join relax first calm down nobody sign it if a news is coming and you should treat the news with any kind of seriousness that news should be coming from the nigerian government or from the officials or the news is coming from the uae government or their officials if the news is not coming from the nigerian government officials just know that the news is not real even the last one they posted september when Tinubu came to this country, a government official posted the news. Still, that news na fake. No be me, are you there yet today? Six months now, Tinubu come. Nothing. Some people have taken the screenshot and they are sharing it of Bayo or Nanuga. In case you don't know, Bayo or Nanuga is one of Tinubu's uh, associates. I've been an advisor. Bayo or Nanuga. Some people are sharing the screenshot from Bayo or Nanuga where he posted on Twitter. I've been an ex, you know I'm ass. Bayo Nonuga posted that Dubai visa is now going and all. But after some minutes, he deleted the post. If you go back to his social media now, you cannot see that post there again. We have some newspaper outlet that have post same news, but it is a shame. Yeah, this is Bayo Onuga. Bayo Onuga. Bayo Onuga. He said UAE has not resumed visa issue to Nigerians. Okay, <laughs> he did do correction. Bayo Onuga. He did do correction. He first of all posted that UAE is now giving visa to Nigerians. And later, he deleted that post. Now, he had made another post as at 9 p.m. 9.19. 9.19 p.m. Bayo Onanuga has made another post. In that post, Bayo Onanuga that have previously posted that UAE has lifted the ban, he posted again saying... UAE has not resumed visa insurance to Nigerians. The document in circulation is not authorized either by the Nigerian government or by UAE. This same Bayo Nanuga have posted that visa was going on before he deleted, he deleted the post. The administration of Bola Med Tinobu, people in that administration, they need to take their time. We cannot run a com country on empty headed people. We cannot run a country on an administration that does not have a think tank. If people like Bayo or Nonuga can be posting fake news, later deleting the news, and is posting a correction, now, it is a shame. It's a shame to him, 
and all his achievements as a human being. If he cannot handle social media, he should leave social media. If Bayo Nonuga is an old guy, oh, if you cannot handle social media, you should leave social media. Chebi Tinubu have told us that it's not in social media again. We, we, we understand that social media is not for some certain age. If you, if you don't know how to operate it, leave it. And this is not even about social media. This is about common sense. If by your non or nonuga that is in the team of the presidency, does not know how to filter information. That is why some of us feel the Tinubu administration is is want to rule the Nigeria digital age with analog people. You cannot do that. If you want to lead in this present age, that is the digital age, you need digital people that can think, that can see between the lines, understand even unspoken words, understand unwritten words. Not some old guys that should be with their grandchildren, Telling stories to their grandchildren, you'll be bringing them to the realm of affairs in the country. That news is fake. If you check the news very well, it is not carrying any signature. How will an update come from the government and no signature on it? That news is not carrying any signature. Now, some of you have shared with me the link that um, Guidance newspaper shared. Now, I took my time to read through that news, especially from Guidance newspaper. In the news, in the write-up of guidance, they said, they quoted the UAE ambassador to Nigeria, that he said, now they will be verifying on one, 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 one website. In fact, that website, I took the stress to search on that website. The website now is not functioning. So you know that that news is it's not real. Mona, thank me, small now. Now, don't go thank me. I didn't take my time to a lot of stress. <laughs> One thing, all of you watching me right now, or you'll be watching later in the future. One thing you must understand is this. You must understand that as at today, today is on the 5th of March, 2024. You must understand that out of, as at of today, every news outlet want to post about Nigerians in UAE, Nigerians in Dubai. Every news outlet, every blogger want to post about Dubai visa. They know that Dubai visa is a hot kick. They know that every Nigerian, most Nigerian are keeping tab on the Dubai visa update. Even Nigerians that don't have passports, they are waiting for the Dubai visa to open. <laughs> because Dubai is one of the destinations that accommodate both the rich and the poor. 
and the society. Because Dubai is one of the country that gives maximum security job opportunity to you, irrespective of your educational qualification. Some country you cannot travel there if you don't have BSc. Some country you cannot go there to look for job if you don't have certificate. But Dubai is open to everybody. Dubai is accommodating. UAE welcomes everybody. And they make their visa process to be very easy. Some of this other country, before you go there, you need to show proof of funds. You need to show that you are a wealthy guy. You are well to do. You can stay in a hotel for one month, for two months, before they give you their visa. You need to show that you have BSc. You need to show that you are going for a seminar and all. But Dubai, they welcome you. Dubai will not ask you to ask a uh, 5 million naira in your account. If you can just show, is it 200 or $300? You can come to Dubai. You can come with one month uh, visit visa, get job, and you start working, and you live a better life. Some of us came with one month visa. And we are still here today. Alhamdulillah. So everyone want to post news about Dubai. Everyone. Everyone want to post news about Dubai. So don't get freak. Um, after this live show, I will not entertain anybody calling and asking me for all this again. If you call, I go bang the phone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless. Pretty. Adi Joke. Prep vlog. Uh, prep vlogs. Ah, vlogs. Prep vlogs. Are you in Dubai? I want to collaborate with uh, content creators in UAE. So, prep vlogs, if you are in Dubai, reach out to me on my uh, number. Reach out to me. Very soon, I'm going to be hosting a master class for content creators in UAE. I've seen that a lot of people want to become content creators, but they don't know how to. They don't know how to. Me also, Oluwatosin, before you can see me doing the great things we are doing now, it took us time. If I, we had to attend many seminars, many classes to help our confidence on camera, to help us put some things in place, have nice picture, nice uh, audio, good storyline, and creating a captivating story. So very soon, not very soon, next month, April, we are going to be hosting a master class for content creators. We are going to have a class, a one-day class. It's going to be physical class. And those that want to attend online too is fine. But it's going to be a physical class. It's going to be paid for. If you don't get money, no body. It's going to be a paid class where we are going to be teaching people how to become a content creator. The gadgets to use, the audio to use, how to tell a good story, how to get monetized for your skills, but because it is not enough for you to learn everything and you don't get money out of it. How to get monetized, how to get money from your skills. Even if your followers are 100, you will get monetized. You will get money. 
Mm. Because those are the things we put in place before we started creating content also. There's a course I bought for $59, the act of making money through content. Making money through content with a zero follower. Zero follower. So if you have a zero follower, you can still make money. So far, you want to create content and you have a zero follower, you can make money. So we'll be teaching you all this. We we'll, we we'll, we'll, in the coming days we'll be posting flyers for that. If you want to attend, it's fine. And that day we are going to be depositing a lot of things that is inside of first. We're pouring them out to you and Everyone that will attend that seminar will not go home the same way. Let us continue. This person has been sending a request to join since. Hello, how are you? We will take questions now. We'll, take, we'll start taking questions now. So if you have questions, you might want to drop it in the comment section. We'll start taking questions now. If you're watching, please help share the video with your friends. Help share the video with your friend if you're watching. If you're watching, help share the video with your friend. Comment. Drop a comment in the comment section. Share, 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 please. Share with your friends. Drop a comment. Make sure you are doing something. Make yourself visible. If you have a question, this is the time to, to join. Okay, we'll be waiting. Waiting for what? Let's drop comments. Uh, you can drop your questions now. We'll start taking questions now. And um, very soon we end the show. Make sure you are doing something. Share the video with your friends. Drop a comment. Share the video to those Facebook groups you belong to. Share to a uh, WhatsApp group you belong to. From next week, I'll be waiting today. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Okay, let's do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. From tomorrow, we will ask admin on Facebook to check who are our top engage, uh, the top people that engage our, our posts on Facebook, and we'll be giving them, we'll be doing some giveaway. Amnesty banned and absconding lifted. Peter Chibuzo Emmanuel, what is amnesty ban and absconding lifted? This one where you post Nalayo, you just joined the live now. The next thing, somebody invited you to join the live. The next thing you are posting is uh, absconding, amnesty. Uh, can you call? If you want to ask questions, ask questions. Share more light on visa information, please. Which visa information? There's a lot of visa. Which visa? AY Shores. Share more light on visa. Which visa? Visa plenty now. Not the wine meal. Not the wine baby. <laughs> How many people know that? Uh, what is this guy? Baby. Um... This is Sabino's friend that called himself baby. What about those that are passports are in immigration office and also on abscond there? If your passport is in, is in immigration, you're, you are a special candidate. If your passport is in immigration and you have abscond, first of all, Check your abscond. Is the abscond still there or no? If the abscond is removed already, try to get a new visa. By the way, let me tell you why this abscond remover, it is very good. 
the reason this abscond removal is very good is this if you have abscond and overstay and you apply for a new visa that new visa will not come out that new visa will not be approved because you have absconded, not because you have overstay, because you have absconded. Share this video with your friends. F share, F share. Yala, share it. We are go. This question is bringing a new level to this live show. F share this video. Block that person that just called now, please. Block the person. Except if we have a business transaction with them. If we don't have business transaction with them, block the person. This question this person asks, I'll just open up a new conversation that's going to benefit you and your friends. So help share this video with your friend. Everybody that is share that is posting question, before you post the question, first of all, copy that question. Copy the question before you post it. Copy the question before you post it so that if we missed that question, you can just copy paste later for your own benefit. Now, if your passport is with immigration because some of you, your sponsor, your sponsor say go and bring new passport, go and bring new visa. Then we give you your passport. But because of the visa ban and because of no money, you are unable to get the new visa for yourself. Then your sponsor puts you on abscond and drop your passport with immigration. This is the solution. Let us share it with ourselves. The solution is let us share this video. Let us share this video. 50 share already on TikTok. Let us share. Let's get it to 20. We are going to talk about that. Let's get it to 20. Let's get to 20. Everyone that their passport is at immigration, there is solution. Don't give up. Let's get the share to 20. Yalla, yalla, Abibi, yalla. It might not be you, it might be your friend. Their passport is in immigration. Their former sponsor took their passport to immigration and put them on abscond. There's a solution to that. Help share the video with your friends. Make sure you are doing something. See that you are sharing or you are double tapping your screen. Let me also pick something up at the, there's someone at my door. Let me pick somebody up at my door. If your passport is at immigration, your former sponsor took your passport to immigration. We are going to attend that now. A minute, let me pick somebody at the door.
Okay, thank you, friends. Thanks for hanging on. Uh, God bless. Thank you. For everyone, let us go straight to the point now so that um, we don't bother you too much with a lot of talk. For everyone that have their passports with immigration and their sponsor have put them on abscond, the first step is this. Check if your abscond has been removed. If your abscond has been removed, good. Now you will proceed forward. The second step after you have checked your account has been removed and, it's at, and it has been removed. The second step is that you move forward to getting a new visa for yourself. Get a new visa for yourself. Let me tell you that you don't need passport to get visa for yourself now. You don't need passport to get a new visa. Because there's nothing like a visa stamp again. No visa stamp again. So you don't need passport to get visa now. So just check if your passport, if your abscond has been removed. Once you confirm your abscond has been removed, go and get a new visa for yourself. Once you get the new visa, you will now go to immigration to go and collect your passport. That time, you don't get new visa already. He met somebody. He met somebody. <laughs> Shema, how you doing? Great. Tell me. You say you mean, I say hallelujah. I will check why they have removed your ass card, please. Okay, go to my Facebook at this is my cup of tea or at citizen Oluato C. If you're watching on TikTok, please help me in the type arm so that people can see. If you're watching on Facebook, on TikTok, on YouTube, help me type in the comment section so that people can see. Talking and typing is difficult. Help my help my ministry. Make it for move to the permanent site. So if you if you want to check if you need the link check my Facebook because it is only Facebook that allow us to share links. That is why the link is there on Facebook at this is my cup of tea or at citizen Oluato Singh. Can you do visit visa? Is visit visa going? For Nigerians, visit visa is not going yet. For other nationality, visit visa is available. We can do it. Our number is on our bio. Check the number there. It's on bio. Send message on WhatsApp or call directly. We will attend to you. So, uh, amnesty too, please. No amnesty. No amnesty that is available is amnesty for. Abscond. Abscond has been removed. There's no amnesty for visa. You can apply for fine reduction to clear fine. Okay, sir. Okay, chairman. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. So, for those of you that your passport is with your Arbab, your passport is with your sponsor, you can get visa now without that passport. Just check if your abscond has been removed. If your abscond is removed already, go and apply for pass uh, for visa. When your visa is out, go and collect that your passport and have a nice day in UAE. Let us take some questions in the comment section, please. There news news on what? Please. There is the news of visa. We don't talk about that one. If you are watching on, on you, well, we don't talk about that one. Please, uh, it's working permit visa going for Nigerians now. My boss asked me to. No, it's not going. It's not going. The voila never finished now. You never. Please, sir, uh, it's okay. You have that one multiple times. Very good. What happened if the abscon is removed and visa is still banned? Don justice. 
this is another question let us attend to it very well so that everyone can learn from it and have a good understanding what happens if abscond is removed number one abscond is removed and visa ban is still there let me now tell you that um The Bible speaking, let me pretend to be a pastor, at least for a while. Not be that pastor where the professor say, dollar, we go back to something. I will go. <laughs> now, the Bible speaking saying, none shall want his mates. That is to say, everybody will get married. Nobody will be stranded, except those who give a karata. <laughs> If you get back character, you stay your penis out. Whether you're a man or a woman, you know, you get married. <laughs> now, what will happen when abscond is removed, but visa is still banned? Visa is going however. Whether you're a man, you're a woman, visa is still going however. For Nigerians, ladies, that on visit visa they can still get spouse visa for nigerian guys that are on visit visa and the abscond has been removed they can still get spouse visa so just go and marry go and marry the, the one you remain single is, is is enough go and marry and when you are marrying make sure you marry someone that has visa Immediately, a guy is stopping you, or a guy say hi to you on WhatsApp, or on TikTok, or on Facebook. The first question you ask that guy is, do you have visa? <laughs> ask her whether he get visa or... Boy, we not get visa. Make you no know, follow girl, we not get visa or... Girl, we not get visa. Me no grief for boys, we not get visa or... So, you can get a spouse visa if you are cancelled visa as a guy you can also get spouse visa if you're a cancel visa as a lady you can get freelance visa if you get freelance visa then a guy can be under you which question again what is your glasses uh why is your glasses circle and the other one uh rectangle is that rectangle or square okay rectangle or square um is that a question also you get that <laughs> i'm told visa is not going to see ah i'm to see i'll let me to see go there for some goes up with to see to see precious lady i want to see i like me <laughs> Brother, to see, eh? Hey, 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 but I don't see you. We will marry back home. Now, wait this egg, but they talk now. <laughs> Even me, I don't know what they talk. You will marry back home. You better go and look how to get visa. They play my fans. <laughs> you are indeed doing a good job. Thank you very much, uh, Nedum. God bless. Shall I answer my question? What is your question, precious? Type your question again. Let me stress you small. <laughs> what is your question, precious? Write your question again. Let me stress you. Do you have anyone that can do a uh, visa for a lady i don't understand visa for a lady victor what do you mean visa for a lady for everyone that need if you need your question to be answered in full 
my number is on my bio try to call during business hour tomorrow will give you details respond to your question some of the question one are they ask we know if you talk about them online so if you ask true call we give you detail citizen to see one put our love on conditional no be citizen no look at us on our uae now you say more than not remain single is visa going from nigeria to uae our precious um i think you're on cancelled visa right if you're on cancelled visa you're on cancelled visa yeah you're on cancelled visa you left to uh okay um just you you have my whatsapp just let's check let's check it's 50 50 visit visa is not going employment visa is somehow is employment visa abscon removed also we have talked about this good evening citizen uh good evening citizen please i'm trying to get another job is it advisable to cancel ah uh, it's not advisable don't cancel law it's not advisable if you are a nigerian it is not advisable that you cancel for now the reason is still today the time now is um 10 57 pm and today is 5th of march 2023 as of today that i'm live here now every visa that is going for nigerians in uae they are all conditional visa mona help me tap on the comment section conditional visa conditional visa they are all conditional visa so you cannot bank on them hundred percent you cannot bank on them hundred percent they are all conditional visa so don't because of those visa you go and can say you want to join another company it is highly dangerous who is this one they shall invite i don't know Brother, see, just carry us go paradise. I call you this afternoon, not going. Yeah, my my number is on aeroplane mode now. Not gonna no key me. My my phone is on aeroplane mode now. Ah, uh, Dominino. Thank you for the gift. God bless. Dominino, I uh, talk to us. Are you there? Uh, I think there's no more questions. Okay, some people are sending requests to join. Let us take that and we end the show for tonight. Citizen If you should give me this your glasses. Allah, <laughs> not too much like this. <laughs> you refuse to give me these your glasses. Say Matthew seven seven. You refuse to give me these your glasses. The day I'll come your house, eh? Okay. I'm coming for the glasses. You are coming to rob. <laughs> to see. Hope you are not coming to destroy also. <laughs> Long time, bro. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm good here. Yeah. This is Ebony of uh, Winners, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. God bless you. Bless you, sister. <laughs> 
Obviously. <laughs> God bless you, sister. I can't hear you. The Lord bless you and increase you. You too. Are you telling me? Yes. Yeah. Can you be, be my boy from Nigeria now? Is it possible? You can just come for holiday. Yeah, if you have a resident visa and um, you want to bring him under your visa as um, dependent, it is possible. As dependent, it is possible. His birth certificates, his passport copy, his passport photograph, your passports copy your visa copy your emirate id back and front your you have a partner visa right yeah you know. your company license and memorandum if you are not talking just help us meet yourself you will mute when it is time to talk your company license and memorandum that's it but you cannot apply alone now so when the visa is out, you will now go and bring him. You can also designate somebody he will come with, but it is difficult now since the nah, visa is not going. Those yeah, those days that visa is going very well, you can have someone he will come with. But I have someone that goes to Nigeria like every like twice in a week he can come with such person oh okay, okay. hello bros no i'm not i'm sorry let you see let you see let you declaration can you let you yell the declaration can you yell declaration or not doing uh -huh. So you've not been to church this year without it. I know now. Just remind me I will just she be his call and response. Tell me I call how you be response. Of course. Yeah, you say of course. What do you mean by So am I in Jesus' name. Uh, I am also ready for times. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Ah, we look tomorrow. Moka I take back there. Yes, yes. I go back on. No more law. Yes, we do. Ah, to go for me. To a big pada. I got it now. You see? No. What is no? Fortune. Okay, fortune is my portion in twenty twenty four. So respond. I don't respond already. I don't respond already. Check with you your pastor. Respond. Check with your pastor. He knows me. Oh, we are together before. Wait, which of the pastors? Your pastor now. She be you are attending. You are Marina, right? Yeah. How do I know? <laughs> How do you know for real? How do you know? Um, uh, that's why I'm citizen of Lulu Atosi. That's why I'm citizen of Lulu Atosi. I know all of now. All of now. My high day with you now, but I don't know. Check with the pastor, a pastor, what? But that fair, that fair, handsome pastor. Oh, he's not your pastor again. I think he left. He left. He's not in the UK. Okay, ah, okay. So you also know who I'm talking about, I see. Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Let's take that another person. Uh, this man will just, you see, the way this man is looking at you, he will just punch your face now. Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul work, man. He's busy at work. That's why I need to talk fast so that I can get back to work. <laughs> okay. Okay. The rumor you are hearing is true. Abscond is removed. That rumor is correct. The other rumor is that uh, visa is now going for Nigeria, and that one is fake. Kalas. Okay. 
we see the fake one, we see visa for Nigeria is not going in because the Nigerian government has confirmed it. And this uh, article they are talking about is it all this is for everybody? There is nothing like Archicondi again. Everyone. Nothing like as coming as coming again in UAE or there is a limited time to it. Oh, now I'll too much. How come as come no good day again? Abscon will always be there because many people will keep overstaying their visa. For now, what is obtainable is that most people on abscon, the abscon has been removed. Now, in the coming days, this is just an update for today. This afternoon is just pop up. And shout out to uh, a friend. If you are not talking, just mute yourself so that we can have a decorum. Shout out to a friend that informed us, you know. Uh, so, abscon is removed. That does not mean they will not be absconded again. Because till now, some people are still on absconded. As we have said earlier tonight, that the abscond is for only those that government sponsored. Those that are private sponsored, probably they might still be on abscond. So this does not mean that abscond will go the day again. In the next coming days, we'll, the updates will become clearer and clearer. When they when Tinubu came September last year, and they said visa has been uh, has been lifted immediately. I told people also that time that in the next coming days, we will have a clear picture of this update. So same like this, tomorrow Thursday will be on the streets to get more information about this. On Friday, we'll be on the street also and bring you some updates from the streets. Oh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> so on Thursday, on Thursday, we'll bring you update 9 p.m. like this, whatever we have gathered. But for now, people update, uh, people abscond has been removed. If your abscond don't remove, make start making moves to change your visa status. What we know about abscond before now is this. If your abscond is removed for some weeks and you don't change your visa status, that abscond will come again. So who knows? Maybe that is what they are doing now. Point is this. For example, if you have been on a uh, labor visa, that means you, are, you have been on a, you have been a ID before, and you are working in the UAE from a company that sponsored you. And uh, along the line, the company has different branches. For example, the company has branches in uh, Dubai, uh, Charger, Abu Dhabi, and so many of them. Maybe that your visa was done in Abu Dhabi or Charger. And Maybe business uh, uh, fortunate, the company that the particular company that you, your visa was applied was closed and your visa came to expire because they could not be able to renew it at that particular point in time. Now, is it possible? One can apply such visa again at this moment because I'm using myself as an example. Yes, uh, me personally, I was okay. No, no, Allah Chairman, let us face that we understand your question already, so I will not waste so much time and we'll get over it. The update is on abscond, not on visa for now. So the update now is on abscond, not on visa. So your your visa is from this emirate, that emirate, and whichever emirate. For now, is on abscond. If the one for visa will come, it will probably come in the next coming days. So we are still checking on it. Because what I'm saying is that even if 
number has come. And the place for you to do your visa is not possible. She's not uh, working out for you. Yes, that's what I want to say. If they said there is remove as well, I don't think the visa. What's the essence of the as well when they remove? Uh, it is not only Nigeria they move remove apps count for now. And if Banuje in your con or Tulu, uh Mon I help me translate that one for Mr. Paul. If Banuje in your con or Tulu the the sorrow of one person you not make the village scatter. Uh, so if you're not happy, no me say other people no go happy. So if this are not go for you, no me say this are not go for other people. So <laughs> That is to now tell you that your problem is still there and that Nigerians living working in UIE or Nigerians planning to visit UAE, you still have to call on your government to get to work with the UAE government and fix this problem. Or you call on UAE government, you plead with UAE government to be merciful unto you and fix the problem. <laughs> yeah, that is the belief of uh, some people. That is the belief of some people that we don't have government. But whether we like it or no, whether we believe so or no, we actually do have a government. When Tinubu was in India and he put a call through to come and meet the UAE uh, president on the issue if you are not talking just meet yourself so that i don't enjoy it. that we don't have a government is is no talks we have a government tinubu went to indian for a whatever he went there for and he put a call through from indian to the uae that he wants to come and meet uae government the uae president and he was allowed he came he was received, he met with the UA government and door. That is to prove to everyone that we have a government. Whether you believe in them, you don't believe in them, you feel the get there in a crooked way, it doesn't matter. But you have a government. You have people representing you as a government. I have been on the issue of work permit and visa ban for close to three years now, Almost every day, I'm giving you updates, and I can boast that I am not. I am more knowledgeable on this issue than anyone. But then, if they want to discuss this issue, they will not call Citizen Oluwatosi. It will be a government to government discussion. So when it is a government to government discussion, that means you have a government. Whether you recognize it or no, doesn't matter. You have a government. And that your government will be the one to solve this problem. If you hold them by the jagula, they will solve this problem. But if you continue to believe you don't have government, what is the English of Wakbembe? <laughs> we go tell you if if we keep believing we don't have government, we are going to you are muted, Mr. Paul. You are muted. Okay, she's charging. Unmute yourself, oh, Oga Paul. Okay, you are unmuted. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> But it is one. Anyone would want to come in, come in and give us a gift from your own side of story. Thank you. Uh. Someone on Facebook is saying that um, 
What is the need of removing abscon when they refuse to leave our ban? Majority of us on visit visa. <laughs> then again, Ibanuje Yokon Otulu, they didn't remove abscon for only Nigerians. They actually remove abscon for all nationality. Uh, Gifty Pile, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, Gifty Pie was asking the other time if I'm from Ocean State. Yeah, oh yes, I need me. Oh, you need me again. Yes, just now. Ah, all of the money. Oh yes, oh yes, I need worry. Oh my wow, oh my okay. Yeah. In in your own language. Let me just. Even though I don't know how to speak well. <laughs> But I understand that. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask you, oh, with that, we are on visit visa. Mm. Mm? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I don't even know how to check it. I'm just here. I'm just hearing that they've lifted the um, ask, home, but I don't even know anything about it. Can it? Because immediately I came, that was when everything closed, and we are shy here. So how can I go about? How I don't know. How do I go about it? Hello, citizen. I call you this afternoon to inform me to inform you. I call this afternoon to inform you about this news, about the news where I don't already make video make video edit the video and post the video on all my social media platform they play my fans okay uh yes sir yes sir yes yeah our body now body days like thank you chairman we see your struggle we see everything and i want to appreciate you for for how you, how brave you've been with the kind of government we will get, and how you've been standing you know, on it and uh, been voicing out. Thank you. Stand, I really appreciate that. Even when many Nigerians like us, we get on the hideout, uh, possibly we get on the, you see them out there, they represent us in the midst of all this drama. Thank you. I really you. appreciate that, brother. You Thank really you. Great job. Thank you, Chama. And again, um, concerning that, our brother, we just talk now. I just want him to understand something very clearly. The, this issue of say, God is more government create this scenario for Dubai. This government can manage their security system. Mm -hmm. For you to come here and tag us, give us names, it's not Nigerian government, give us the name. Dubai government don't, these people don't know anything about courtism. Cottism abroad is different uh, from this uh, understanding we will get for Nigeria. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm. So, we are not the cause. And uh, trust me, Dubai government can handle their country. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are in the UAE. Dubai can handle itself as a city. Mm -hmm. So, all these boys in the world, of course, security agencies never mean them. They mean them, they will not them. They don't they even have them finished. 50 years they have been there, 15 years. They don't catch all of them finish. 20 mm -hmm. years, 15 years. So we don't deserve for like 15 years. So see somebody. You could just say, don't go home. You never go home on a jail video. Plenty like that. There are plenty. 15 years, they did it. You could tell you could say, they don't go to America. They never go in America. They did here. And we also they release safe. Go and check. Nobody will really release me if you didn't know man. They will inject you before you even know what you did with them. So this is what they stupid. They feel handle us. They feel handle us. And they're going to win our country. That's what I'm just trying to correct that, brother. I mean, the impression say we, we are not negative, bro. We are not we are good people. Mm. Then, like, uh, all this thing boils down to our governments. We, like, see, like, she won't take the talk. I believe this time around, we'll go bomb them. We'll go show them shaggy. You know, say, so we get power for social media. When we begin to do what we're supposed to do, mm -hmm. they go wake up. The reason mm -hmm. is because the government plunge us in this situation that we are, and they abandon us there. How? How can the Dubai governments tell you the money, the amounts for the tickets? 
they give you the amount in dollar, you increase and sell in Naira. After a period of time, you refuse to remit their money in dollar. You're giving them excuses. You do that, and not forgetting that they are now passengers, now Nigeria that they carry you with their airline. Must you how you go feel. One, they are paying for parking space in Nigeria in the airport. That parking space, they are paying for it. The air hostess, they are paying them salaries. Don't you understand? Before all, and again, after all these things, they still do maintenance for their planes. If this place they work like this for the next six months, one year, and the ministry don't feel remit their money in dollar, for God's sake, they give them story. Later, you go tell them, say, hey, don't, don't hide. Do you know how much it costs them to maintain the dollar to the Tiram? 20 years, they no shake. They are paying so much for it. All these two sacrifices that they pay, we don't really pay any sacrifice on our own end. Until today, waiting for the two when they talk, then they talk. We dominate, they abuse us, they accuse us. Yeah. We cheat them, we cheat them. It's not proper, not business they do. No, you see, the bottom person will borrow money. Borrow money, say, for the people who borrow money, 50 years time, we never know what I will pay them. People will do business with us, they carry our passengers, Nigerian citizens with their airline. You don't see the money for the job we can do. See, let our brothers stop talking about talking about courtesy models. I don't want you to stand it. Because people like us, we get better job. We do, we do work well. We do okay. I know many Nigerians really will do, do well for this country. People get proud of us. You are one of them. I the person one going to tell you about courtesy. You don't do courtesy before. Not be you do on here. Not be your first gather here. Let's see, talk about courtesy. How many courtesy there outside here? If you come out for road, come, you show yourself. Then go carry and go jail. Mm -hmm. yes, so she will be like, say this thing will talk. Social media will go blast her. Everybody for you, you go wake up. Those who are not paid for this, dance. No good bright government. So they no good make, 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 make shame against them. Me, they pay money where they don't share, where they don't chop. We belong to the UAE government. Mm -hmm. All this way they come, they call the play now. See, this, this food don't come like they do buy. This fool, I don't want to mention it now. This fool, he did Dubai, he don't come. We know the fool. He come with entourage, 50, 100 people. They don't they go to the shop. They don't forget, say, excuse me, they did come here. Excuse me, they come here. Not be the reason why they even did here. So we need to we need to wake up. We need to talk to these people. Put put senses into them. Say, we know so not chop these people their money. We don't put any fool. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You have you have named the your point, which is very very good. And what I want to quickly based on this suggestion, there are different communities now. There are evil progressive union in Dubai. There are no progressive union. There is dual for you as well. There are so many progressive union where people belongs. Now, we have been doing this individually, it's time for all these groups, organizations, associations to so read their page. Don't you have the fight with this public to still down, not even before, even before the, even before the closing of visa. We have known each other for more than almost since 215. So, like you rightly said, Paul, uh, Peter, see, uh, like people now, I call him on phone. I asked I asked him about this uh, 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 information that even Nigeria tried to cut my speech when he was talking about something to say. Like one bloggers. Even when we went inside this country, never confirmed information. Nigerian bloggers already started to post that this house is already going. Insta blog. Many bloggers, many of them. If I have to I have to talk to send him more. On his private post. <laughs> See, if if Masara can can publicize this on 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 verified information, how much more we 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 even when they say the visa is going, I have to call the call center. I have to call someone in the immigration. He said tomorrow he's going to check it out. But for now, they have not received any circular from Abu Dhabi. That means whatever you see on social media and Instagram, all those people where they from on Twitter, if you didn't hear it from Tosu, 
forget it, this lie about Nigeria. And secondly, for those that are asking if our funds have been removed, my God, I'll tell you about my own story. Let me still share it here. I have my visa, I work in the university here, but I'm in a free zone in Sakema. Mm. But my former visa was Abu Dhabi. So when I want to do this unemployment, what I want to call it, unemployment scheme, uh, if I do, they tell me that I'm in course. I have to go to, uh, what do you call it, Emma. I have to go to tapping centers and the, the so called, what they call it, the Tashi. They said I'm not on scout, but if I ever, wherever I want to register, they said I have to re uh, report to my former company or my company. My brothers, I didn't even bother to do the all insurance, uh, unemployment, whatever insurance again. But today, once I get the information that scouts have been removed, I said, let me try the unemployment DC. And this is when I tried it. It went through. I have to pay it to pay it draft online. I got my certificate uh, on employment insurance. That means indirectly they are removed the ban of of absconding or whatever. I don't know how it works. But I know this has come matter is not only for Nigerians. And my own question is even if you remove the account without this size, isn't that beautiful nonsense? Brother, you spoke brother. You've spoken well on and uh, you know what good make because what you talk at the end. Yeah. You understand what you talk? You don't talk. You don't tell you talk. So if we are really happy, the good news on day for the talk when you don't talk. And we don't see a lot of sense about which you don't talk. But the last one, no spoil the whole talk. Right? What am I trying to say? Now, for the people who are broadcasting the wrong information that are not in the UAE, first of all, the ban that was placed on the Nigerian visa was for people who wants to come into Dubai with those carriers of the Nigerian passport, right? But for those that are within, those that are carriers of the Nigerian passport, there's no need for them to worry about abscond, abscond for now. The one that are within, are within. I got an information from a colleague that's even I got also from my citizens, I saw it, I've been following up with citizens as well. I got it from everyone. The abscond has been lifted. Okay, what you just have to do is look for ways to apply. For Nigerian visa, the reason why it's not going, if you apply as an independent tourist entity, forget about it, it's not going to go through because of the ban that has been placed there for tourism. But if you look for alternative, at least the abscond has been lifted. I believe it's because of the Ramadan period, festive period. These people, yes, every year they do it. If they don't do for the visa, they will do for the prisoners. At least they have to do one. So I believe this is because of the Ramadan they are doing this. So they are not doing this because they are focused on Nigeria. And if you look at it, we are not the this is nationwide, meaning this is their own giveaway. For everyone who wants to benefit from it, it is high time. You just go into it, okay? Do whatever you have to do, then leave the rest. Because if we look at it like, hey, why do we have a ban? Why did they have to do? Why did they have to leave, uh, leave them as, as fun and all those things? If you are talking like this, don't forget they are not doing it for us alone. They are doing it nationwide. So, because this thing what you see, so you benefit from them. You went to check, you saw that it was lifted. I have people also who said they were lifted. They are Nigerians like us. Do so, you know how many pending Nigerians applications have been hooking? This is a testimony for so many people. This is lifted, every application will go through. Just the way you just went through. Okay. I'm here, I'm here, I'm with you, brother. Yes. And also, as you don't talk, I don't talk on well about the organizations, religious organizations. But you don't forget, you know, the organization, the organization says to take them as a responsibility, okay, to so invite these people, even individually. If you see people for road, you talk to them also about it. Because for Nigerian situations, they are very critical. Honestly, some people are where they are. You cannot pull them with just by telling them the situation. 
the organization also have to come up with a lot of benefits, okay, like support, because many people are jobless and Nigerians. Nobody is able to take you if you don't have a visa. And your fellow Nigerians who have companies here in Dubai have other nationalities and the key head of the organizations and their businesses. What a shame. And your fellow Nigerian is somewhere jobless, but if you walk up to that place, the organization should take it as a responsibility as well to reach out to some of the, the business owners, okay, Nigerian business owners, and plant it into their head. We can learn to have more to accommodate ourselves. Right? Because if you want to, we're talking about this organization, some people are feeling, some people can feel provoked. While we are here, we're looking at the, the uh, astronomy trying to verify if this information is correct. If anybody's coming up and we talk about organization, so many people here in this country might even feel offended. But I want the organization to know that for you to be called an organization, it simply means you have to be a carrier, you have to be, you have to, you have to be, you have to be a solution to, to the problem of a group of persons or group of people. What am I trying to see? Organization, please. It's not all about you. Ibo is not about Ibo is not about Usa. Forget about that for now. Organization should embark upon. You should have an agenda. Go to Jera an organization and you know write to some of these people who you believe the nigerians who own these businesses write to them look for at least let your office be there if you have an office let those nigerians who do not have job i'm coming let me finish brother please i will just round up here let those people give them the address let them show up if you need help or job or anything then with your connection and other things, let somebody just do anything just to earn a living or to feed. I'm not talking about accommodation. Many Nigerians are homeless. Yeah. To be very honest with you, I just want to be very honest with you. Should I, something like this, you don't want to be very A minute, please. Something you don't like us to talk about. A minute, please. A minute, let's take a... Uh, Lady Diva in the comment section says she wants to renew a visa and uh, maybe her boss is not around. It's, her boss is no longer here. Lady Diva just check my number on my bio. It's, it's mentioned in red color. My number is there. Call me. We can put you through on how to do this. We can put you through. And if you want, you can check for immigration number by yourself. You can call immigration if you need to cancel your visa. Uh, for everyone that is speaking about, uh, uh, okay, let, uh, gifty pile. I didn't uh, understand your message the other time. Um, please let us have you. Let me understand your message so that we can move forward. I'm going to speak about the Nigerian community. Uh, Peter Chibu, Chibuzo spoke about the Nigerian community. I'm going to. I have a lot to say, say about them. Yes, why not? Giftify, are you there? Uh, Giftify? Okay, uh, if she's not there. Gift was saying initially, mm. she's on foreign visa mm. and she do not know how to go about checking her ass count. Okay? Mm. Uh, if her ass count has been removed or not. But let me chip in something here so that people will stop. Disturbing you because when they click on the link you share on your other platform, they didn't get it, they start calling you. Please, there's many ways to do this. You can walk into any type center. If you don't even know what to tell, say, please, I want to check if Nigeria visa is going. Can you check if my account is still there? It's free. Free. If you go there, they check it for you. Yeah. It's okay, sorry, you're still in Abscond. Your visa Nigeria is not going or whatever. You just walk away, you know your faith. Even if you don't have to send the link, just walk into any typing center. You can say that you want to apply for visa. Let them get you with something information. They will check in the information online and then say, sorry, the ad scan is dead. I can you just walk away. Nobody's going to call police for anybody there. Even if they should check it for you, I walk away too. So it depends on how you take approach the people at the counter. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, you can check at the typing center also, they will check for you. Okay, thank uh thanks. We understand what uh gifty pie means. Talking about the Nigerian 
commit a uh, Nigerian social, I mean, a tribal group. Well, I don't know if they have a change of mind now, but uh, I think some two years ago, the embassy have called us together and the mindset of people that are operating Nigerian tribal groups, their mindset is different to the mindset you and I have, especially about the Nigerian government. Uh, they are, I can say for a fact that there is a set of people that um, there are a set of people that just want to align themselves uh, with the government, whatever the government wants. They are, that's that's the set of people they are. And um, another thing is, if Nigerians living working in UAE, if they, if you all feel that if we all feel we are tired of this uh, situation and we want to demand a solution, we should not bank on anybody. We should instead bank on ourselves. Don't bank on citizen Oluwatosi. That citizen Oluwatosi will lead you to social media outcall of Nigerian government to fix this problem. Even though we have been doing that since three years this issue started, and we are not going to stop that till this issue is resolved. We are not going to stop. But don't bank on us. Don't bank on any social, pol uh, social ethnic or any tribal group. Because they might fail you. Citizen Luatosi might also fail you. But bank on yourself. Let individuals take or take to their social media platform. An average of us have at least two social media platforms. Many people have three, four, and more. Take to that social media. Start posting about how Nigerians in UAE need work permit need visa to sustain though we are not asking you to call out any government or abuse any government especially the uae government you don't need to abuse them you don't need to call them out we just need to plead to them because it is their country and we are in need of their visa so we need to plead to them the only people you can call out is the Nigerian government. Call them out to pay the money they are owing because it is glaring they are owing. If now you pay the who, you go grieve for them. You don't go grieve for them now. If now me, you just are, you just malo, you need another man, go me. I not go grieve for them. So if someone is owing you, you will not want to grieve for them. And that's the position of UAE. We are owing them as a country, as a nation. So call out the Nigerian government to pay the UA government. If you want to post about the UA government, play with them to lift the visa ban and the work permit ban. Express how you have missed Emirates Airline flying to Nigeria and all. And let's see what we play out. I've told people before now that if 100 of us we take to social media and post diligently every day for 100 days, this issue will be resolved. I'm sure of that. Because before that 100 days will finish, we will have drawn the attention of the Nigerian government, the UAE government, and the international community. But then, who and one? Everybody, they run. And the more you run, the more this issue will linger. How will person know if their abscond has been removed? You will know if your abscond has been removed by checking on the link I shared. If you are able to check your fine, if you show your fine, you didn't block this Mary. Charge your phone. If everybody is running away, 
then the situation will remain. Do we have any questions? We have two hours already on the show so that we can call today. Prince Francis, are you there? Okay. Let's have it, please. Prince Francis, let's have you. Good evening, Chairman. Tell me. Good evening, good evening everybody. Yeah. Uh, concerning this new slime here and there, I would just advise everybody to stay cute. So it's very defined. That's just my two cent advice. Now, okay. Thank you very much for that. Please send me link. What link? Check on our post. The post we make today, check all the posts we make today. Check a video we make today. Uh, Steve uh, Nathan. Steve Nathan, check the post we make today. The link already is there. Check with the link with your passport details. And um, if you're able to see your fine, that means your abscond is removed already. Uh, what do we have there again? Uh, what do we have there again? We're about to run off the show. So if you have not talked with us, Yella, let's have you. Aleru, are you there? Alero, are you there? Uh, Bolariwa, are you there? Please, only if we can see our points. That means our abscond has been removed, sir. Yes. Uh, Joseph Bassi, if you can see your point, that means your abscond has been removed. If it is saying that you cannot view your find, then the abscond is still there. Everyone, when they send requests to join, they accepted your request, then you are not talking again. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we are going to remove everybody. We we'll just call it a day. All of you are just there. When I just want to join the show, and you are not talking. You say good evening. Somebody must respond to your good evening before you talk. So we have to keep good, good, night. good night. You have a nice evening. Who is talking? Nobody is talking. Everybody is just there. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Let's have you. I want to end the show. It's two hours already. Make a stand up from here. Back the pay me a beg. Oh, okay, a very quick one. Uh, what about if your file is showing closed? What does it mean? Your file is showing closed. If it's showing closed, call tomorrow. We'll check that. You check with the link okay. that was posted. And, uh, okay, the absconding, we noticed that it was only on people with visitors in this or Does it apply to people with uh, employees in this or? Everyone. Okay, thank you. That's my question. You're welcome. Who is there again? If you have asked your question, just okay. exit. Hi. Okay, to my question, okay. what what I, what I was about to ask before was what you what I was about to ask before was what you just answered uh, just now, like uh, about if you can see your friend then your it means it's cleared right mm. it means the abscond is removed if you can okay, see your okay. point if you cannot see it then ah, yeah, is yeah. There. Okay. if you're saying you yeah, cannot pay see. fine then abscond is still there okay well i wasn't sure before because i was thinking maybe abscond and the fine are not the same thing like they are not related and nobody say they are related also. Huh? Like I would like you to enlighten me more concerning that. 
abscond and pine they are different things but you cannot have abscond you they are different things abscond and fine are different things right abscond and fine they are different things if you have abscond you will not be able to check your fine because the link we share is the link to pay for fine is the link to pay for fine so if you have abscond you cannot pay for your fine until you remove abscond okay. if you have abscond you cannot get a new visa if you have abscond you cannot pay for your fine if you have overstay okay. you cannot clear your overstay without the first thing to remove is abscond mm -hmm. if abscond is on you everything is is hold nothing can be done on your visa you cannot get a new visa you cannot pay for overstay also until your abscond is removed Okay, I think I get it now. Thank you. So when you use that link to check and it is showing your fine, it means abscond has been removed. If abscond is still there, it will tell you that this person cannot pay for fine. But I think most people that are making comments here, I think what they are getting wrong is they expect the money to be cleared. They don't know that it's not, it's quite different from abscond the itself. This is just English problem. Abscond is different to fine. Fine means you are owing money. Abscond means you run come out, mm -hmm. then block you. Yes. Abscond yes. means abscond means say you japa, you run come out, then block you. Fine means you yes. have overstay. Yes. So it is two different things. If anybody is missing it together, it's English problem. Abscond is different to find. If you check your find is still there, mm -hmm. your find will still be there, but abscond is removed. If, if we have told people before, the problem is maybe a lot of people are not following us. We have told people before that if you are on overstay, there's 99.9% .9 chances that you are already on abscond. Mm -hmm. That one is different case. That one is going out case. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, because uh, someone is saying, please, only if we, uh, because the last time I went to apply for a visa, it was rejected and my visa was showing clear until I was told that I was put on abscond. This one, now you shall be this one. It's verified. What is verified? Uh, Bill Mama, are you there? Have you asked a question? If you have asked a question, good night. Have a uh, good evening. Bolari Wa Kodri, are you there? If I'm not, yeah, I'm good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Very well. Yes, I'm sorry. My question is not uh, regarding abscond or uh, it's regarding uh, visa cancellation. Okay. So, uh, I have uh, a visa, but uh, I just got in a business. I, I already have the license and everything. But uh, in the process of getting the establishment card, I was told when I applied for it, I was told that. We got a comment that I need to cancel my current visa, so that's my residence visa, before I can proceed with the uh, what's it called and the establishment card and then apply for the investor visa. But because of the whole uh, issue, I am um, skeptical about cancelling my current residence visa before I can apply for the um, establishment card. So I wanted to check with you if uh, what you think if cancelling my current visa will not be an issue. I'm sorry, just come again. Okay, so currently I have a residence visa. Mm. Then I got a business. I got a business from someone. Mm. And we were going through the process. I, the license is in my name. Everything is in my name now. Mm. But when I wanted to apply for the establishment card mm. or the business, mm. I was told when I applied for it, I got a comment that I need to cancel my residence visa first before I can apply for the um, for the uh, what's it called establishment card. Oh. So, but because. 
because of this current situation, I'm skeptical about it. So I, I'm, you know, putting it on hold because I don't want to just cancel my visa without having some sort of assurance. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure of that that you need to cancel your visa before you can apply for establishment card. Mm, I don't think so. You have the the license have a local sponsor, right? No, no, no. I'm the owner, hundred percent owner. Okay, hundred percent ownership. Ah, okay. If the license has a local sponsor now, the establishment card will just be under the local sponsor. However, it is not advisable that you cancel your visa because if you cancel your visa with the hope that you will get visa under that company as a, as a partner, that visa will not go through. The only partner visa that is going through now is renewal. If you want to renew, that is the only one that is going through now. Um, if you want to renew, that's the only partner visa that is going now, not new application. So, so if you cancel your visa, it might be difficult getting a new visa, except if your wife is here and our last visa is a uh, freelance visa. Then she can get a new freelance visa and you will be under her at the husband. Uh, yes, actually, I'm really on my wife's visa, actually. So, but uh, because I have to first cancel this one, which is why I just put it on hold because I didn't want to. Oh, okay, you are currently on a visa. Yes. And if you're currently on a visa, you can cancel it. You can get a uh, wife visa again. It's it's fine. You can get for a visa. Okay, so even if you cancel it and try the establishment card, if it goes through and I get the investor visa, then I go with it. If it doesn't work out, I just go back to our visa, right? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm expecting this uh, live broadcast to be down, but we have 80 people still watching, 80 plus. So that's why we are still encouraged to hang on. But on Facebook and YouTube, I don't know if we should hand it so that people can have short video to watch. But let's continue. Once we still have people that are asking questions, we'll be here to respond to that question. Until no question again. Uh, Chairman, good evening. Alpha. Good, I'm okay. How's everything? Good, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Thank for your help, I really appreciate you. I appreciate your hard working. The question that I want to ask, uh, you already answered the question. Ah, okay. Because we have working presently, I uh, just like third party to the company. So, so the company that I'm working with so they, they wanted to employ me directly work with them directly so so i just want to ask the question before that what if i cancel from my company i work and those people give me offer so is my visa going to be the if you or not so this is what i just want to ask and i think you already answered the question that maybe it may not be good Okay. Okay, great. Do you mean? Uh, some guys are in the comment section. They are saying, I don't know. Please, where is the link? The link is on Facebook. Check out. This is my cup of tea. Or at uh, Citizen Oluatos. And the link is on Facebook. Um, Smart Tercy, are you there? Timmy Sayo, yes. are you there? Tim, okay, Smart, let's have you. Yeah. So currently, I'm working with uh, uh, with one company. So I'm not working with them directly, just like third party to the company. So they are ready to to employ me directly to work with them directly. So I'm afraid about the visa that if I cancel from my company, so are they going to do the visa for me? So that's that's what I'm trying to ask. Maybe. The, the, the company, the company, is it a free, land, a free zone company? 
is in free zone company, yes. Uh, free zone company are able to get visa for Nigerians that are on cancelled visa. Free zone company are able to get visa for Nigerians that are on cancelled visa. However, everyone should understand that visa that is going for Nigerians now are on a 50-50 chances. All visa that is going for Nigerians here in UIE, they are on 50-50 chances. Nobody can guarantee anyone visa 100%. Nobody. If anybody is guaranteeing you visa, it's just the sugar talk you. No visa is uh, going hundred percent. They are all still conditional visa, and it's going fifty fifty. So we have re uh, records. We have records of people that have been able to get a free zone visa. So if the company is a free zone visa, you might want to give it a shot. Your current visa remain how many more to finish? Uh, it remain like two months now. It remain two months now. It is to cancel. Your current yeah, company can be like, uh, renew. My company company. Yeah, they will renew. Yes, they are renew. They will renew for me. Ah, okay, okay. They can renew for me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Understandable. So is a fifty fifty is a miss a chance. Is a is a risk, so make it a calculated risk before you take it. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, I want to ask just three questions. Hmm. We try to do, you know, all these people that say the visa is going, blah, blah, this visa is going, then I put in, but I just reduced my fine with 3750 then I paid, but they rejected the visa. So now, it's, I just, hello. Let me talk with first, let's have a tinsayo. So someone just gave me, he's on partnership visa, so he gave me that I should be Honda him. As why? I need to work. Yes. Yeah, it will work. Will Your previous visa, visa is visit visa, right? Eh? Yes. It will work. Let's see, reduce the fine again, or I will pay. The full fine. That is what they're giving. How much is your? You first. First of all, you reduced the fine before. Yes, and I paid. Three thousand plus. Three thousand seven fifty. How much was it before? Look, I'm going to tell you. Only this is thirty thousand. That's huge. I don't remember. Maybe. Maybe two hundred thousand. Mm. No. <laughs> But it's not that. But I did it myself. I don't want to give any agents my money. Ah, okay. So I go to immigration myself. I do find a reduction myself. I do, I remove my school myself. No wonder they didn't give you a good uh, reduction. Because somebody that was having 40,000 plus that did visa with us, we were able to reduce the 40,000 plus, like 45 or 40,000 to like 2,020 dirham. My own money is like 60,000 dirhams. Mama, oh. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. I do, I do understand. I really understand. That is the reason why I say I don't want to give any agent my money again. Like, seriously. Yeah, sure. You when can give yourself. This country, I give an agent 5,000 dirhams. And it did not do anything. For good two months, he was telling me that five dollars only, five dollars only. So I'm not for any sixty thousand dirham. So they saw for just two months overstay. The next well, thing it, that he told me that hello, what if you have scorned? I call up for seven thousand. I know what you have scorned. Then I said I don't have money. 
give me back my money for the for me. So I cannot, that is number one reason. Well, yeah. maybe I will chat you. I've seen 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 you. Uh, if you want to do it yourself, it is fine. Uh, for those that cannot do it themselves, they can engage a trusted agent. But then it is not everything you can do yourself because it is not everything you can do yourself. You can do fine, you can do abscond. But when you get, if you want to apply for some visas, you cannot do it yourself. But if you are going for a white visa, then you can also do that yourself. Sure. But there are some supporting so documents. I'm to you on WhatsApp. I'll, no problem. I'll talk to you on WhatsApp. No problem, my no, number. I will send that person to you. <laughs> you will need that person. I will send that person to you. No problem. My number is on my WhatsApp, on my bio. You need to take your number. I will just send that to you. You have my number already. MashaAllah. No wala. Now, who is there again? Temi Tokwe. Temi Tokwe, are you there? Who is there? Let's have you first. Temi Tokwe. Okay. Good evening. How are you? Thank you. Great. I'm good. Tell me. <laughs> you you have a question or a contribution? Okay. Junaid, are you there? I'm here. I'm okay. a citizen. Let's have it. I'll see. Uh, Chairman, how are you there? I'm good, sir. Good. It's my pleasure meeting you today. Thanks. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Citizen, quick one. Okay. Because I'm um, lovely. I've already been your follower for a long time. Ah, okay. Quick one. Okay. I have a license on uh, Megan Freezone. Hmm. Okay, I may we need this license. I have a senior lawyer working from the US, so we need the license, which I was opportune to be a director on the license. Ooh. Then, uh, till now, we're actually not doing our visas because they were asking for most of my credentials, which were back home then, and they need to be certified and uh, verified by UAE Embassy in Nigeria. So I got everything verified and certified, and when it came back, it was like, this Nigerian visa is not going, blah, blah, blah. So for a long time, we were like, just quiet about it. So, but now, the license is expired. We are trying to, we are going to renew it back. So I want to know, if they renew it back, can I apply my visa? If the license is renewed, and it's yeah. a free zone license, and the company yeah. that is running. Yeah, it's a running company because we have all our goods and uh, we are like trying to, because it's a, a company that sells diapers. So we are just trying to introduce ourselves into the market. Okay, wow. Yeah. But well, okay. If it is uh, renewed. The first license, is, the first uh, set of license is done. Like it's finished. Now we want to make renewal. Okay, if it's renewed and your previous visa is a uh, employment visa, right? My previous visa was an employment visa. Then I can't. Even after it was cancelled, I got a visit visa. Mm -hmm. Because I can't stay without having something. So the time I try to like renew the visit visa so I can put in for my employment, all uh, this saga started. Okay. Um. The thing is. If you're on council visa, we can, there's a 50-50 chances a free zone company can get to visa. But if it's on a visa, if your last visa is visit visa, it, it might be difficult, but then you can try. Okay. No problem. 
it was uh, I really needed to do it, to get it for me, and uh, because my wife also is around, I need to get a visa done and everything. So it's a lot of me. So that was why, you know. Your wife, he has a last visa is visit or resident? A last visa was also visit. Hmm? You said? Okay. You said? Okay, okay. A last visa was visit also. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So that's my problem about that. So that was why I was trying to like see if my can be get done, get a wedding certificate, and we can do the. She can be under my visa. Okay. So it's just like a fifty-fifty chance, right? Yeah, it's a it's a fifty-fifty chances. But with the with the player where uh, my cup of tea. Mr. Amen. I to by God's grace, by God's grace, it will go through by God's grace. Whenever you want to, maybe we will not be talking again before then, but whenever you want to, uh, if you want to apply for the resident, don't put in with your visit visa, put in with your uh, yes, resident okay, visa yes, and your cancellation. Yeah, that will help. Okay. Okay, sir. God bless you, God. I'm Amen. You will live long by Tom and Jerry. Thank you very much. Amen. Good <laughs> nice time. Okay, thank you, Chairman. It's nice talking to you, sir. It's my player here. Mr. Tosin, can I check my fine by myself, please? Yeah, you can check by yourself. Uh, someone said if they are able to see their fine, does that mean they don't have abscond? Yes. If you're able to see your fine, means you don't have abscond. We are running off the show now. We are running off. We are running off, and very soon we'll be handing the show. Visit the site on our remover. We eventually we will we'll be finishing the show. We'll be back here on Thursday also. Tomorrow we'll be on the street to gather information about um, the update that has flying everywhere today. That visa is not going. We'll be on the streets tomorrow to gather the information. By tomorrow evening, stroke on Thursday, you'll be hearing all the updates from us. So let us keep our finger crossed. Inshallah, our good news will come back. You said? We are waiting for this. You are waiting for what? For your show. Ah, okay. No problem. On Thursday evening, 9 p.m., we'll be here by God's grace. Okay. On my hand, okay. Okay. Thanks for joining. You said? From, sir? Nigeria. Oh, nice. Great. Great. Nigerian people are very nice. Thank you very much for the compliment. Uh, yeah, thank you. Actually, I, I, have, I, look, I have lots of friends from Nigeria, so that's why I know about this. Great. Great. Thanks. Thank you so much, sir, for me. Okay, thanks for joining. You have a nice evening. Thank you. Boss, do I have to go to the embassy before I travel back to Nigeria with expired passport, but uh, having visa no if you want to travel back with expired passport you don't need to go to the embassy you can fly with expired passport now but make sure you renew the passport before coming back you can fly with expired passport now everyone that is uh, sending uh, okay we were not supposed to be accepting guests again but my friend is joining here <laughs> I'm not your friend. I'm not okay. your friend. Okay. Uh, we have a fan that is joining here. How high you hope you're fine? I'm not fine because I'm not happy with you. You are not my friend, so why are you happy with me? Okay, you have a question? Mm, I want to confirm something from you. You know, you might not. You may be. You, you can find it very difficult to reply me. <laughs> Because you will be like, you will ask me, but are you agents? No problem. We are talking.
we still the labor um, machine is down because a friend of mine applied for visa and they said the system is down for now. Ah, okay. Um, for this week, I have not paid attention to the uh, labor system. So I might not be able to tell for a part if the system is down because I've not been I have not paid attention to uh labor system. I've been more of my attention on uh document documentation this week. But the truth is government system in some cases are usually down and whenever they are down like that they give um uh transaction will not go smoothly as it is to if you want we can check tomorrow if it, the system is down or if it's not down and when you call we don't pick the call please understand that we have a lot lot of calls that are usually coming for us and sometimes we want to face our life and just do some other things with our lives down picking calls so if you call us we don't pick it Call back but if you are not available now. We are available later. Hmm? Let me quickly ask my second question. Ah, okay. Is it true that the visa is going? Which of the visa? Because I saw I saw the message today. Everyone is posting this that Nigeria no, visa that's is not one going. everyone is posting today. It is not going. Uh it is not going. It is false. Uh, those are just some random guys on go is a gossip mail or Insta blog. I put a comment there, and after my comment, I saw everybody following me. I'm like, "What's going on here?" I was hanging out with my friend at the coffee shop, and I told my friend, hey, "What's going on?" Everybody is following me. The comment I dropped is, "I said this news is fake. It is coming from the Association of Fake Agents." <laughs> fake visa agents so that news is from the association from the joint association of uh fake visa agents fake dubai visa agents that news is okay. not real it's a fake okay. news concerning the um people that have emirates visa that is on cancellation their visa is going right 100 percent 100 percent of 50 50 I've uh, said before now that no Nigerian visa is uh, sure. Everything is still on 50-50, but at least uh, for for January and February, every application we put in, we have been able to get them all uh, with an evidence of um, with an evidence of uh, the visa stamp and Emirate ID also. We shared the Emirate ID also with some people that want to see the Emirate ID. So, so it is sure. <laughs> you miss so many. Okay, thank you. That's what I was confirmed, but we are still fighting. We are still fighting. Just book yes. a spot where I can punch your face. I only really want to punch <laughs> your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is actually based in Dubai. No, she based in Dubai. She's from Nigeria and Benin. That's why. She based in Dubai. She's an air stylist in Dubai. A troublesome air stylist. Posting videos of fine ladies without their handles. At least when you post pictures <laughs> and videos of fine ladies, they put their handles so that we can inbox them. Okay, I will try to do that. Thank you for your cooperation. Put your hand up too so we can inbox you too. We are still fighting. <laughs> I'm coming to your shop to punch you. Yeah. Okay, thanks to everyone that have joined the show tonight. Uh, it's really been a good evening. Uh, just that I'm just sending requests to join the show. We are not taking requests to join the show again uh watch our videos we posted a video i'll try i'll try if can make video tonight about that video uh, about that update that's flying everywhere so that we can post the video tomorrow follow us on our social media platform at this is my cup of tea and on facebook at citizen oluwatosin 
we give update about uh, work permit, visa, and everything you need to, to live a comfortable life in UAE. Tomorrow, more updates are coming. On Thursday, we'll give you uh, the update on all our findings so that you'll be on the safe side. Everyone that is sending requests to join now, we cannot take your request again. We have been here for almost three hours. And then new people will keep joining, new keep, people will keep coming up. And we cannot be here doing customer service for all day. Thank you very much, friends. I'm Citizen Oluwatosin. Catch me on all social media platforms. Follow, make sure you are following. Thanks to everyone, uh, Shenwa Day for the gift. You see, Abiodun, we didn't see your gift. <laughs> Where is she? She left already. Thank you very much. Um, we'll see you on Thursday. And make